today's class we shall talk about uh, certain important questions that are based on the endocrine system. We shall discuss the questions which were given in the previous uh, NEET, JIPMAR, AIMS exams, the most important questions you know along with the explanation. Here is the first question you know, I shall read out the question for you. The 24 hour diurnal rhythm of our body such as sleep wake cycle is regulated by the hormone A calcitonin, B prolactin, C adrenaline, D melatonin. Now this 24 hour cycle it implies that uh, the inherent activities that are exhibited by the organisms even human being as well during the daytime can be called diurnal rhythms and uh, the innate activities that are exhibited by animals at night are called nocturnal rhythms. And the rhythms that are noticed during this 24 hour cycle can be called circadian rhythms since they are noticed throughout the 24 hour cycle here now they are also known as circadian rhythms circus implies 24 hour duration. Now the question is asking about the diurnal rhythms of our body are regulated by here you got options you know A calcitonin. Calcitonin is a hormone secreted by thyroid and even parathyroid as well. In thyroid there are certain cells called para follicular cells. They secrete thyrocalcitonin. The thyrocalcitonin regulates calcium level in human body you know. Both parathormon and calcitonin are antagonistic to each other. Parathormon increases calcium level whereas calcitonin decreases calcium level. So A option is not concerned with the question that can be ruled out outright. Then B prolactin. Prolactin is a hormone secreted by anterior pituitary. Prolactin is concerned with uh, secretion of milk and maintenance of corpus luteum so on and so forth. Even that is also not concerned with the question. So even that can be eliminated. Adrenaline C option adrenaline is also called epinephrine. It is secreted by adrenal medulla. It is also known as flight and fright hormone and it is regulated with uh, concerned with uh, various uh, activities like increase in heartbeat, increase in respiratory rate so on and so forth even that is also not concerned with the question. So the left out option melatonin that is the correct answer. Melatonin is secreted by pineal gland. Pineal gland is supposed to control all these activities in human body like diurnal rhythm, circadian rhythm, okay, then even ovulation, okay, all this under control of melatonin. Melatonin lower animals like if suppose you take fish and amphibians, it even influences pigmentation. It imparts light color to the animals. You know. okay. There is another hormone called MSH, melanocyte stimulating hormone. That melanocyte stimulating hormone MSH, MSH, melanocyte stimulating hormone, this is secreted by anterior pituitary a part of anterior pituitary called pars intermedia, pars intermedia secretes MSH which is also called intermediate. So this MSH and melatonin both are antagonistic to each other. MSH imparts dark color whereas melatonin imparts light color. So apart from diurnal rhythm, circadian rhythm, ovulation, Okay, thermoregulation, then imparting immunity to the body. Melatonin is also concerned with uh, regulating the pigmentation in lower animals. So, for the correct question here, now first question, the correct answer would be melatonin here. Now. That is melatonin. Apart from all those functions, it also regulates diurnal and circadian rhythms in human body and even all other 
animals as well. So, first question answer is D that is melatonin. So, first question answer is D melatonin here. The next you have second question here now. Select the correct matching of a hormone, its source and function. You got uh, three tabular forms, three columns are given here now. First column hormone, second is source and third is a function. Now, if you see the first option A, vasopressin, posterior pituitary, increases loss of water through urine. Okay. Vasopressin is also called ADH, antidiuretic hormone. It is secreted by posterior pituitary. As a matter of fact, it is secreted by the neurosecretory cells of hypothalamus and it is released into the blood through posterior pituitary. So, posterior pituitary does not secrete, but it acts as a storage depot for the secretions of vasopressin. And uh, he says function is given here, increases loss of water through urine. That could, that uh, should be the wrong option here now, because it does not uh, increase the loss, but rather it decreases the loss of water. It stimulates distal convoluted tubule of nephron and CD of nephron to absorb water from the outgoing urine. So, the first option is wrong. Then second option, norepinephrine, adrenal medulla increases heartbeat, rate of respiration and alertness. Okay. So, here yeah, second option, norepinephrine, that is epinephrine, norepinephrine, they are the two hormones here now, they are secreted by adrenal medulla, increases heartbeat, rate of respiration and alertness. So, second option is also correct here now. Then third option you have glucagon, beta cells of islets stimulates glycogenolysis, stimulates glycogenolysis. So, glucagon in pancreas you know there are some hormone secreting cells called islets of longer hands. In the islets of longer hands about 4 to 5 types of cells are present, alpha cell synthesize glucagon beta cells synthesize insulin, gamma cells give rise to alpha beta, delta cells synthesize somatostatin. Here the question glucagon secreted by beta cells, it is wrong you know, because beta cells give rise to insulin not glucagon, glucagon is secreted by alpha cells. Stimulates glycogenolysis, of course that is the function of glucagon, glucagon is a hyperglycemic hormone, it increases blood glucose level. So, C, C option is correct here now. Okay. Uh, C option is wrong because the second option source under source it is given beta cells. So, that is wrong here now. Then D prolactin posterior pituitary regulates growth of mammary glands and milk formation in females. A while ago we talked about the prolactin hormone. So, prolactin uh, source of secretion is not posterior pituitary, it is secreted by anti pituitary and the functions that are given are correct here now. Prolactin does regulate okay, growth of the mammary glands and also essential for formation of milk. So, D option is wrong because it is given posterior pituitary here. So, among these options here now, A is wrong because vasopressin does not increase the loss, C is wrong because glucagon is not secreted by beta cells, D is wrong because prolactin is not secreted by posterior pituitary. So, the only left out option is B that is norepinephrine secreted by adrenal medulla which is commonly referred to as flight and fright hormone. It does increase the heartbeat, does increase the rate of respiration and alertness. So, for second question answer is B that is norepinephrine which is also known as noradrenaline secreted by adrenal medulla. This epinephrine and norepinephrine are commonly called flight and fright hormones. They are also known as catecholamines and uh, they are concerned with increase in heartbeat, increase in respiratory rate, increase in blood pressure, okay. then decrease the peristalsis. Okay. So, they are the functions attributed to norepinephrine and adrenaline. So, B option is correct for second question. Now, here third question, I shall read out the question for you. A health disorder that results from deficiency of thyroxine in adults and characterized by a health disorder that results from deficiency of thyroxine adults. 
uh, option 1 low metabolic rate option 2 increase in body weight option 3 tendency to retain water in tissues you have got options here a simple goiter b myxedema c cretinism d hypothyroidism he is asking the disorder health disorder results from deficiency deficiency of thyroxine deficiency of thyroxine okay in adults so deficiency of thyroxine in adults in adults is called myxedema myxedema is also called gulls disease so that is the disorder and he is giving the options here the symptoms of that particular disorder low metabolic rate is correct in myxedema there is low metabolic rate increase in body weight because there is excess deposition of the fat here now excess deposition of the fluid beneath the skin so there will be puffy face and swelling that is also correct tendency to retain water that is also correct option so here deficiency of thyroxine in adults results in myxedema the options given are simple goiter b myxedema c cretinism d hypothyroidism so among these options the correct answer is b so for third question correct answer is b that is myxedema the symptoms that are given are the symptoms of myxedema next fourth question here now i'll read out the question for you uh, the blood calcium level is lowered by deficiency of both calcitonin and parathormone b calcitonin c parathormone d thyroxine now the blood calcium level in human being is regulated by parathormone hormone here parathormone is secreted by the parathyroid gland it is also known as hypercalcemic hormone that is it increases calcium level by tapping calcium from the gut that is elementary canal from nephrons and even from it uh, increases blood calcium level by tapping calcium from elementary canal from nephrons and uh, nephrons and even from bones okay it mobilizes calcium from bone to blood so that is hypercalcemic hormone the options given are a both calcitonin and parathormone calcitonin and parathormone in fact are antagonistic to each other parathormone increases calcium level calcitonin decreases so that cannot be answer b calcitonin it is a hypocalcemic hormone that is uh, it lowers the blood glucose level blood calcium level c parathormone parathormone increases blood calcium level d thyroxine thyroxine is not concerned with calcium metabolism so the question here blood calcium level is lowered by deficiency of okay when there is deficiency of a particular hormone there will be lowering of the blood calcium level so which hormone is responsible for this so you should answer c c is the correct option for fourth question now question number 5 which one of the following pair of organs includes only the endocrine glands here are options you know a thymus and testis b adrenal and ovary c parathyroid and adrenal d pancreas and parathyroid here thymus undoubtedly is an endocrine gland and apart from this testis is also given testis does secrete hormones but apart from that it has got even some other somatic functions you know so it is not an exclusive endocrine gland adrenal and ovary adrenal of course is an endocrine gland ovary again is a mixed gland you know c parathyroid and adrenal both are exclusively endocrine glands so the answer for fifth question is c that is parathyroid and adrenal both are exclusively endocrine in function next sixth question feeling the tremors of an earthquake a scared resident of seventh floor of a multi storied building starts climbing down the stairs rapidly which hormone initiated this action a adrenaline b glucagon c gastrin d thyroxine now all these are concerned with the stress reactions you know okay uh, stress reactions in human being are under the control of glucocorticoids of adrenal cortex and even adrenal medulla that is catecholamines of adrenal medulla so among these options you know the correct answer is a adrenaline so for sixth question correct answer is a adrenaline next seventh question you know 
I will read the question for you. A person is having problem with calcium and phosphorus metabolism in his body. Which one of the following glands may not be functioning properly? He is talking about calcium and phosphorus metabolism. Again, calcium and phosphorus metabolism are under the control of parathormone hormone, which is secreted by parathyroid gland. Parathormone hormone is also known as collipse hormone. Now, I shall read out the options. You know, we'll try to find out what is the correct answer. A. Parotid gland. Parotid is not an endocrine gland at all. It is a salivary gland. B. Pancreas. C. Thyroid. D. Parathyroid. So, D. Parathyroid is the correct option because parathyroid secretes parathormone which is responsible for calcium and phosphorus metabolism in human being. So, seventh question. Correct answer is D. Parathyroid. So, question number 8. Question number 8 here now, I shall read out the question for you. Which hormone causes dilation of blood vessels, increased oxygen consumption and glucogenesis? Which hormone causes dilation of blood vessels, increased oxygen consumption and glucogenesis? A. Glucagon B. ACTH C. Insulin D. Adrenaline Yeah, the adrenaline is responsible for increasing the, okay, uh, oxygen consumption rate, then uh, glucogenesis that is synthesis of glucose from glycogen and it is also responsible for dilation of the blood vessels. So, among these options you now the D would be the correct option because glucagon increases blood glucose level, ACTH adenocorticotrophic hormone secreted by adrenal medulla, it uh, promotes glycogenolysis you know to increase the blood glucose level and uh, it is also concerned with the stress reaction and all okay and the ACTH hormone secreted by the adrenal secreted by the anti pituitary it stimulates uh, adrenal gland adrenal cortex to secrete glucocorticoids then insulin of course lowers blood glucose level so among these the correct option would be D so for eighth question correct answer is D question number 9 here now read out which of the following is a center for release of neurohormones? A. Anti pituitary lobe, B. Posterior pituitary lobe, C. Intermediate lobe of pituitary, D. Hypothalamus. So, the hypothalamus is the one which has got several neurosecretory cells, it secretes several neurohormones. So, these neurohormones are released into anterior lobe and posterior lobe through hypothalamo hypophyseal tract. So, for the ninth question, the correct answer is D, that is hypothalamus. Now, you have got question number now 10. A steroid hormone which regulates glucose metabolism is A, cortisone, B, cortisol, C, corticosterone, D, all the above. You know. Now, steroid hormones are secreted by adrenal cortex. Adrenal cortex. Adrenal cortex is again divisible into three parts zona fasciculata, zona glomerulosa, zona reticularis. In this zona fasciculata, zona fasciculata secretes cortical hormones, secretes cortical hormones like cortisone, okay, cortisol, corticosterone, and all these hormones are responsible for regulating glucose metabolism in human body because all these are put together called cartical hormones you know. I will read out the options you know. A. Cortisone, B. Cortisol, C. Corticosterone and D option is all the above you know. D option should be all the above so that all three hormones have influence on glucose metabolism in human body you know. So, for that tenth question correct answer is D that is all the above is the correct answer. Question number 11. Sertoli cells are regulated by the pituitary hormone known as A LH, B FSH, C GH, D prolactin. So, what is the question here now? Sertoli cells are regulated by Sertoli cells are present within the seminiferous tubules of testis you know. They synthesize a hormone called inhibin 
under the influence of FSH. They synthesize a hormone called inhibin under the influence of FSH. So, LH, A option LH is luteinizing hormone. Luteinizing hormone is concerned mainly with ovulation, that is not the answer. B is follicle stimulating hormone. Apart from promoting the growth of the follicles, promoting the growth of external genitalia, it also stimulates Sertoli cells to synthesize inhibin hormone. C is growth hormone, D is prolactin. So, for 11th question answer is B that is FSH that stimulates Sertoli cells to synthesize inhibin hormone. Now, I shall read out the question number 12 for you. Which one of the following pairs correctly matches a hormone with a disease resulting from its deficiency? Which one of the following pairs correctly matches a hormone with a disease resulting from its deficiency? A. Luteinizing hormone, failure of ovulation. B. Insulin, diabetes insipidus. C. Thyroxine, tetany. D. Parathyroid hormone, diabetes mellitus. Diabetes mellitus is due to deficiency of insulin. It cannot be because of parathyroid. A parathyroid hormone deficiency results in parathyroid tetany. So, that is the wrong option. C. Thyroxine. Thyroxine deficiency results in cretinism in children and mixed in adults, mixed edema in adults. So, that is the wrong option. B. Insulin. Insulin deficiency results in diabetes mellitus. It is not insipidus, diabetes mellitus. Diabetes insipidus is due to deficiency of vasopressin. A. Luteinizing hormone. As I made a mention earlier, luteinizing hormone is mainly concerned with ovulation. So, deficiency of LH may result in failure of ovulation. So, for 12th question, correct answer is A, that is luteinizing hormone. Question number 13 here now. I will read out the question for you. Chemically, hormones are A. Biological amines only, B. Protein, steroid, biological amines. C proteins only, D steroids. You know. Hormones are made up of various chemicals known as proteins, steroids, biological amines. Okay, so, the correct answer should be B because biological amines are mostly adrenaline and noradrenaline are biological amines. Proteins, the hormones of anterior pituitary, hormones of posterior pituitary, hormones of pancreas are proteins. Steroids, hormones of adrenal cortex are steroids. So, among these, the correct option would be B because some hormones are protein in nature, some hormones are made up of steroids and some of them are made up of biological amines. So, for 13th question, correct answer is B. Now, question number 14, I shall read out the question for you. Which of the following hormone is not a secretory product of human placenta? A. Human chorionic gonadotrophin, B. Prolactin, C. Estrogen, D. Progesterone. Here among this, uh, first option human chorionogonadotrophin is also called HCG. HCG is also used as a pregnancy stabilizing hormone. On the basis of the presence of HCG in the urine, pregnancy can be established in a woman. B. Prolactin. Prolactin hormone is not secreted by the placenta. It is secreted by anti-pituitary. Estrogen, of course, is secreted by placenta. D. Progesterone is also secreted by placenta. So, among these options you now, B is the correct answer that is prolactin which is not a secretory product of human placenta. Next, you have question number 15. Adrenaline directly affects on A. SCA node, B. Beta cells of longer hands, C. Dorsal root of spinal nerves, D. Epithelial cells of stomach. Now, adrenaline uh, we have been discussing about this in detail, it commonly called flight and fright hormone. Okay, it is mostly concerned with uh, glycogenolysis so on and so forth. It also increases the heartbeat. So, it increases the heartbeat by activating the SA node. So, for 15th question correct answer is A that is SA node. Next, we have got question number 16. Question number 16, I shall read out the question for you. When both ovaries are removed from the rat, then which hormone is decreased in the blood? When both the ovaries are removed from the rat, which hormone is decreased in the blood? A. Oxytocin, B. Prolactin, C. Estrogen, D. Gonadotrophin releasing factor. 
Now, ovaries are the source of secretion of estrogen and progesterone. So, among these options, you know, the correct answer would be C, that is estrogen hormone secreted by the ovaries. So, when the ovaries are removed here you now, there will be deficiency of estrogen hormone. Next, we have question number 17. Mainly, which type of hormones control menstrual cycle in human being? He is asking the question, which hormones control menstrual cycle in human being? A. FSH, B. LH, C. FSH, LH and estrogen, D. Progesterone. So, the correct option would be C. FSH, LH and estrogen because FSH initially is concerned with increase in thickness of endometrial layer, is initially concerned with uh, formation of ovarian follicles, transformation of ovarian follicles into graphene follicle and LH is concerned with ovulation that is stimulates graphene follicle to release mature ovum. Estrogen along with uh, FSH okay, controls the increase in follicular growth. So, the answer for 17th question would be C. Next, we have question number 18. I shall read the question for you. MSH is secreted by A. Anterior lobe of pituitary, B. Middle lobe of pituitary, C. Posterior lobe of pituitary, D. Endostyle. Now, this MSH is also called melanocyte stimulating hormone or it is also called intermediate. It is secreted by middle lobe which is also known as intermediate lobe of pituitary or pars intermedia of pituitary. So, for 18th question correct answer is B that is middle lobe of pituitary. Next you have got question number 19. What is the effect of GnRH produced by hypothalamus? Okay, gonadotropin releasing hormone. What does GnRH imply? Gonadotropin releasing hormone. Option A stimulates synthesis and secretion of androgens. B stimulates secretion of milk in mammary glands. C stimulates fetal ejection reflex. D stimulates synthesis of carbohydrates from non carbohydrates in liver. Gonadotropin releasing hormone secreted by hypothalamus stimulates uh, ovary and testis to secrete estrogens and androgens respectively. So, among these options you now A is the correct option that is it stimulates and synthesizes secretion of androgens from the testis. Now, we will read out the question 20 for your question number 20 now. Which of the following statements regarding glucagon is false? It is secreted by beta cells of longer hands. It is wrong because glucagon is secreted by alpha cells of longer hands. B, it acts antagonistically to insulin. Okay, it is correct here now because it is antagonistic. You know, glucagon increases blood glucose level, whereas insulin decreases blood glucose level. So B option is correct. Then C, it decreases blood sugar level. So it is wrong here now. Uh, glucagon. Uh, increases blood glucose level. It cannot decrease blood glucose level. It increases blood glucose level. That is why it is also known as hyperglycemic hormone. D, the gland is responsible for its secretion is heterocrine gland. Yeah, glucagon is secreted by pancreas, which is said to be a heterocrine gland or a mixed gland or exocrine endocrine. Because apart from secreting hormones, it also secretes certain enzymes which are responsible for protein, carbohydrate and fat metabolism. So, here in the question is asking about the wrong statement here now. So, B is correct option antagonistic to insulin, C uh, is wrong option here now okay, because it increases uh, blood glucose level not decreases here now. D option gland is responsible for secretion, gland responsible for its secretion is heterocrine gland that is also correct option. So, D option is correct, C option is wrong and B option is correct, A option is also correct you know, because glucagon is secreted by alpha cells of longer hands. I will repeat this question for you again. Question number 20, A it is secreted by alpha cells of glucagon. So, it is correct option because glucagon is secreted by alpha cells. B 
it is antagonistic to insulin that is correct c it decreases blood glucose level that is wrong because it increases blood glucose level d responsible for secretion is heterocrine gland so pancreas is heterocrine so for 20th question correct answer is c that is it decreases blood glucose that is wrong option because glucagon is responsible for increasing blood glucose level now question number 21 i shall read out for you which of the following match is correct here are hormones given other side effect oxytocin milk ejection hormone glucagon decreases blood glucose level adrenaline okay decreases heart rate thyroxin decreases bmr he is asking among these the correct option here now so correct option would be oxytocin milk ejection it is responsible for ejection of milk that's why it is also called milk ejecting hormone apart from this it is also responsible for inducing labor pains okay that's why it is also called labor hormone or birth hormone so for 21 question correct answer is a that is oxytocin responsible for milk ejection the other options are wrong as per the okay statements given in the question so the 21 question correct answer is a that is oxytocin is commonly known as milk ejection hormone now we have got question number 22 which one of the following four glands is correctly matched with the accompanying description read out the options a thyroid hyperactivity in young children causes cretinism uh, b thymus starts undergoing atrophy after puberty c parathyroid secretes parathormone which promotes movement of calcium ions from blood to the bones during calcification d pancreas delta cells of islets of longer hands secrete a hormone which stimulates glycolysis in liver now we shall read out each and every option try to find out whether it is correct or wrong now a thyroid hyperactivity in young children causes cretinism thyroid deficiency in fact results in cretinism in children so the first option is wrong here now okay thyroid deficiency is not hyperactivity it is not hypersecretion hyposecretion of thyroxine results in cretinism in children b thymus it atrophies after puberty that is correct option c parathyroid secretes parathormone which is responsible for calcium metabolism that is correct d delta cells of pancreas secrete a hormone which regulates uh, glycolysis in liver so that is also okay mm, wrong option here you know because delta cells synthesize insulin they synthesize insulin and insulin is responsible for decreasing the blood glucose level okay not uh, increasing the blood glucose level it is responsible for decreasing the blood glucose level it converts excess glucose into glycogen so among these correctly matched option is b thymus starts undergoing atrophy after puberty okay c option parathyroid secretes parathormone which promotes movement of calcium from blood into the bones it is given wrongly here because the parathormone hormone is responsible for increasing blood glucose in the increasing calcium level it mobilizes calcium from bone to blood but not from blood to bone so c option is wrong d option is wrong okay a option is also wrong you know so for 22nd question correct answer is b thymus atrophies after puberty Now question number 23 the source of somatostatin is same as that of the source of somatostatin is same as that of read out the options thyroxine and calcitonin a b insulin and glucagon c somatotropin and prolactin d vasopressin and oxytocin now the somatostatin is secreted by the delta cells of pancreas okay it is also secreted by hypothalamus to regulate the secretion of growth hormone somatostatin in fact regulates the uh, secretion of growth hormone somatocrinin increases the secretion of growth hormone here he is telling options you now thyroxine and calcitonin source of somatostatin is same as that of wrong you know because thyroxine secreted by thyroid and uh, calcitonin by parathyroid insulin and glucagon so that could be the correct you know because somatostatin secreted by delta cells of pancreas okay regulate secretion of insulin and glucagon you know 
So that could be the correct option you know among these four options. So for 23rd question correct answer is B. Now you got 24th question here now. I shall read out the options for you. 24th question. Which of the following hormones is correctly matched with its deficiency disease? A. Relaxin, cretinism. B. Parathormone, tetany. C. Insulin, diabetes insipidus. D. Prolactin, astigmatism. Now here he says relaxin, cretinism. It is wrong here now. Relaxin is a hormone secreted by placenta at the time of parturition. It is responsible for parturition here now. B. Parathormone. Parathormone deficiency results in tetany. That is the correct option. C. Insulin. Diabetes insipidus is wrong because deficiency of insulin results in diabetes mellitus. D. Prolactin. Prolactin deficiency may result in lack of milk formation but not astigmatism. Astigmatism, eye disorder which, uh, is, uh, which can be corrected by using cylindrical lenses. You know. So, the among this correct option is B that is parathormone titany. Now, 25th question here now. Excess of which of the following hormones causes Cushing syndrome? The options I will read out. A. Thyroxine. B. Cortisol. C. Adrenaline. D. Noradrenaline. Now, Cushing syndrome is caused by excess secretion of cortical hormones of adrenal cortex. You know. So, A option is wrong. C is wrong. D is wrong. So, cortisol is correct. So, cortisol is one of the cortical hormones secreted by adrenal cortex. Hypersecretion of this hormone may result in Cushing syndrome. So, 25th question correct answer is B. Twenty-six. Epinephrine is secreted by A. Adrenal medulla and increases heartbeat. B. Adrenal medulla decreases heartbeat. C. Adrenal cortex increases the heart rate. D. Adrenal cortex decreases the heart rate. Epinephrine, norepinephrine, which are also known as adrenaline, noradrenaline, they are secreted by adrenal medulla. They are known as catecholamines or fight and flight hormones. They increase the heartbeat. So, among options, you know, among all these options, a option is correct, adrenal medulla and increases heart rate. B is given decreases heart rate is wrong. C adrenal cortex, uh, D also adrenal cortex is given. So, they are not source of secretion of epinephrine. So, among these the correct option is A adrenal medulla and it increases heart rate. So, for 26th question correct answer is A that is adrenal medulla it increases the rate of heartbeat. You know. Now, you got now 27th question. I will read out the question for you. Which of the following disease is not related to thyroid gland? A. Myxedema. B. Acromegaly. C. Cretinism. D. Goita. Now, myxedema is due to deficiency of thyroxine hormone in adults. Acromegaly is due to excess secretion of growth hormone in adults. Cretinism is due to deficiency of thyroxine hormone in infants and children. Goita is due to lack of iodine. So, among these the correct option would be B because acromegaly is no way concerned with thyroxine or thyroid gland. It is due to hypersecretion of growth hormone in adults after puberty. So, for 27th question correct answer is B. Now, you got question number 28. Adrenals are located above A stomach, B liver, C pancreas, D kidney. They are present above kidney that is why they are also known as adrenal that is one which is added to the renal or they are also known as suprarenal. So, for 28th question correct answer is D kidney. Twenty-ninth, I will read out for you. Reabsorption of water in distal part of kidney tubule oblique urine concentration is controlled by A calcitonin. B oxytocin, C vasopressin, D relaxin. Now, vasopressin, which is also called antidiuretic hormone, it is released by posterior pituitary. It stimulates distal convoluted tubule and con connecting duct of nephron, and thereby it ensures absorption of water from the outgoing urine. 
So, for 29th question, correct answer is C, okay, vasopressin. Now, you got question number 30. You should read out the options for you. LH and FSH are collectively called A, oxytocin, B, somatotropin, C, leutotrophins, D, gonadotrophins. You know. Now, LH and FSH are collectively called gonadotrophins because they show effect not only in men, even in women as well. That is why they are known as gonadotrophins. So, for 30th question, correct answer is D, that is gonadotrophins. Now, we have got question number 31. The absorption of water in kidney is under the control of A, LH, B, ADH, C, STH, D, ACTH. Now, luteinizing hormone LH is concerned with uh, the reproductive system of male and female, in no way concerned with absorption of water. B, ADH, antidiuretic hormone which is also called vasopressin, it is concerned with absorption of water by the nephrons. So, B is the correct answer. C, STH, growth hormone is also called somatotrophic hormone. D, ACTH, it is one which stimulates adrenal cortex, you know. So, for 31st question, correct answer is B, ADH. Now, question number 32, secretion of pancreatic juice is stimulated by A, gastrin, B, secretin, C, enterogastrin, D, enterokinase. Now, gastrin is a gastrointestinal hormone secreted by the gastric mucosa. It ensures secretion of gastric juice and increases gastric motility. B, secretin, it is secreted by duodenal mucosa. It stimulates pancreas to release pancreatic juice. Okay. So, the option B should be the correct answer. Enterogastrin is secreted by duodenal mucosa. It checks excess secretion of gastric juice. It also reduces gastric motility. Enterokinase is an activator secreted by Crips of Libercoon. It converts trypsinogen into trypsin, harm, uh, trypsin enzyme. So, among these, the correct option would be B secreted. So, for 32 question, correct answer is B. Now, the 33 question here now, I shall read out the question for you. Enzymes, vitamins and hormones can be classified into a single category of biological chemicals because all of these A enhance oxidative metabolism, B are conjugated proteins, C are exclusively synthesized in the body of a living organism, D option help in regulating metabolism, secretin and cholecystokinin are digestive hormones. So, he is asking question, enzymes, vitamins and hormones can be classified into single category biological chemicals because all these help in regulating metabolism. Okay. So, D option is correct, you know, 33 question, D option is correct because all of them help in regulating metabolism. They do not act as uh, body buildings of the body, okay. they are required for regulating the metabolic activity, all of them, vitamins, enzymes and hormones. So, 33 question, correct answer is D, help in regulating metabolism. Next, 34th question I shall read out for you. Secretin and cholecystokinin are digestive hormones, they are secreted by okay, A, esophagus, B, ileum, uh, C, duodenum, D, pyloric stomach. Now, secretin and cholecystokinin are gastrointestinal hormones, they are secreted by duodenum. Cholecystokinin is responsible for release of uh, bile juice from the gallbladder and secretin stimulates pancreas to secrete pancreatic juice that contains more of enzymes and more of salts and less of enzymes. You know. There is another hormone called pancreozymine that is also secreted by duodenal mucosa and that is responsible for secretion of more enzymes from the pancreas and secretin is responsible for secretion of pancreatic juice from the pancreas which contains more quantity of salts and less quantity of enzymes. So, among these options, the correct option secretin and cholecystokinin are the digestive hormones secreted by C duodenum. So, 34th question correct answer is C duodenum. Now, 35th question I shall read out for you. Progesterone is secreted by A corpus luteum, B uterus, C placenta, D graphene follicle. Progesterone is secreted by corpus luteum soon after ovulation. 
It is also known as pregnancy stabilizing hormone. It increases thickness of thickness of the endometrium and it ensures implantation of zygote and it has got protective influence on the fetus that is why it is commonly called pregnancy stabilizing hormone it is secreted by corpus luteum. So, 35th question correct answer is A corpus luteum. Next we have got 36th question here now I shall read up the question for you which one affects liver, muscle and adipose tissue A androgen B uterus C progesterone D glucagon A androgen B cortical hormones. Cortical hormones are secreted by adrenal cortex. They secrete various cortical hormones. These cortical hormones have influence on liver, muscle, and adipose tissue. C progesterone. D glucagon. So among these, the option C is B. Next, 37th question. Read out for you. 37th. Which of the following is both exocrine and endocrine gland? A liver. B pancreas. C thyroid, D adrenal. Now, among these the correct answer is B because pancreas is known as exocrine endocrine gland or heterocrine gland or mixed gland because it secretes both hormones and enzymes. So, 37th question correct answer is B. Now, you got 38th question here now. I will read out for you. Which of the following glands is associated with consumption of iodized salt? A ovary, B pituitary, C thymus, D thyroid. Thyroid gland is essential for absorption of iodine from the blood. With the help of iodine, it synthesizes thyroxine hormone. So, for 38th question, correct answer is D thyroid. Next, you have got 39th question here now. Deficiency of which of the following uh, causes obesity, low NA plus, high K plus, and increased blood pressure? Among these, Cortical hormones are responsible, that is cortisol is responsible for all these symptoms, you know, because deficiency of cortical hormones results in Edison's disease and hypersecretion of cortical hormone results in uh, Cushing syndrome, you know. So, among these, the correct answer would be B, cortisol, uh, whose deficiency results in all these symptoms, obesity, low NA plus, increased K plus and increased blood pressure. So, among these, the correct answer is B, cortisol. I shall read out the first 40th question for you. Here is a question. The father of endocrinology, A, Edison, B, Simond, C, Colip, D, Bayliss. Now, Bayliss and Starling were the scientists who discovered hormones. Okay, Bayliss and Starling were the scientists who discovered hormones. And uh, the term hormone was coined by Starling. The next is the Colip. Colip is the one who discovered parathormone hormone. That's why parathormone is also called Colip's hormone. Simond is a scientist who discovered one of the disorders of endocrine glands. Is that uh, there is a disorder that occurs due to deficiency of hormones of pituitary. Is also called Simond's disease. Edison is a scientist who discovered uh, the deficient symptoms of adrenal cortex you know, and he is the one who is also referred to as father of endocrinology. So, among these options the correct answer is Edison, Thomas Edison is the one who discovered symptoms of deficiency of cortical hormones at the same time he is also referred to as father of endocrinology. So, 40th question the father of endocrinology is Thomas Edison. Question number 40, answer is A, that is father of endocrinology is Edison, A Edison.